charcoal is a very fun medium and I think once you learn a couple of techniques on how to use it in an effective way, you can then create more realistic drawings. My name is Alina and I am an artist. If you'd like to see my creative process, learn about how I self-motivate and some materials I use, hit subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Before I start shading or adding any detail, I like to clean up my sketch lines. You can do this by rubbing a kneadable eraser all over your drawing to help remove the rough sketch lines that you don't need anymore. For this drawing, I use charcoal powder to give me a rough idea of where my shading is going to go. I use my brush at the beginning to help spread out the powder evenly all over the drawing. For the areas that need to be a little darker, I dip my brush into the charcoal, shake off the extra particles and then use that to create a few shadows. I like to use big brushes as well to just smooth off these entire areas. A makeup brush or a big soft paintbrush work very well for this. In addition to the brushes, I like to use earbuds and these are my favorites because one end is pointed and the other is rounded. I use these in areas that need something a bit more firm than a brush. If you've been following my work for a while, you know that I'm a huge fan of mechanical pencils because you don't have to continuously sharpen it. Two of my favorite lights to use with this pencil are the 2H and the 2B. I use this pencil to get a basic idea of where I want the detail and what kind of texture I want in those areas. I then brush over my detail with my brush to smooth out those areas so that I have a more soft, even tone all over the entire piece. The fun part in charcoal comes when you start darkening your drawing. With graphite, it's hard to achieve these really dark tones, but with charcoal, you can get some areas really dark, almost pitch black. Unfortunately, charcoal sometimes releases a lot of powder, which messes up your drawing, so I like to clean it with my eraser to make sure that my area around my drawing is completely white. After that, I want to add some texture to my drawing. This gives it more depth and more of a realistic look. I use my kneadable eraser rolled up into a point to remove some of the charcoal and make some areas lighter. I then use compressed charcoal sticks to add another layer of dark charcoal. Movies or series keep me company during the stage so I don't get too bored or distracted. I come back in with the earbuds and just smooth out that dark charcoal. At the beginning of the drawing, I use mostly charcoal powder, and as I go on and add more detail, I work with more compressed charcoal pencils or charcoal sticks. The graphite pencils help me to create definite lines or definitions between specific areas, whereas the charcoal sticks give me a more suggested overall darkness in an area. So we're back in studio and I am working on my first piece for Project Nam. This drawing is part of an inspirational series where I draw portraits of some inspirational people of this year. This lady is someone who defied many odds and brought home Olympic trophies for her country. And I just find that so inspiring that at such a young age, she was able to do something so incredible and something so inspirational for many people her age or even older. 
It's exciting to see the drawing come together after a couple of layers of charcoal because it renews the confidence that it will look okay in the end and charcoal hasn't messed up the entire drawing. In the final stages, it's a lot about fine tuning and also creating your own unique artwork. So I look a lot at my reference and I see where I may have missed some details, I add a few things, I make them as close to the image as possible, and then in some areas I just go with my gut and I add where I want to and I remove where I want to as well. This kind of allows me to make the drawing my own by adding my own unique signature and style and technique. And that way it's not just an exact replica of the photograph, but rather an original artwork of my own. A sharp pencil or mechanical pencil at the end is very good for getting those tiny little hairs to stand off the page. So my process of working with charcoal is definitely a layering process. At the beginning, I use a lot of the powder just to set a tone for the whole drawing. And then as I go along, I come in with more specific detail and targeted areas that I want darker and lighter. If you're trying out charcoal for the first time, try the process of layering, try and see how well it works for you. If there's a different tip that works better for you, please do let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it. If we work hard and if we're dedicated at our craft, who knows where we could end up, who knows what our potential could be. So just be consistent with whatever you're doing. Just continue to work hard. It doesn't matter what people say to you. It doesn't matter how they try and push you down. If you know what you want and you're dedicated to it, you can accomplish anything. I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, do subscribe. Until the next time, thanks for watching.